My name is Richard Clark and I'm the owner director of Natural Health Organic Sulfur Products. And that's the website www.organicsulfur-msm.ca. And welcome to this introductory video. One of the first questions that I get is why do I have more energy and feel so much better after I've been taking organic sulfur for a while? That's because the organic sulfur increases the oxygen in your blood system and it allows you to have more energy. Your cellular metabolism is easier and so people automatically feel like they have more energy and they feel more alert, mentally alert. People want to know how organic sulfur works in your body. Well, organic sulfur is made up of four things. It's made up of oxygen, carbon, organic sulfur, and hydrogen. What they do is they make your body cell function more efficient. It changes the way that your body cells divide. It changes the way that your body metabolizes oxygen. And it changes the way that it absorbs and processes nutrients. And so when people take organic sulfur, all of the biological processes in your body work more efficiently. Organic sulfur is a food. It's not a drug and it's not a supplement. It occurs naturally in nature, but it occurs in such small quantities that it doesn't do us any benefit. The Canadian government, the Food and Drug Administration in the States, and several governments of countries in Europe have actually classified it as a food product. And so when I'm teaching people about organic sulfur, what they want them to do is to think of organic sulfur like carrots and broccoli and organic sulfur in peas. It's a food product. It's not a drug or a supplement. The research that's been done so far is principally from Japan and Germany and it's gentle testing on animals. There's no harm done to the animals. As far as I know, I'm the only person in North America that's actually conducted some long-term research on this. I spent six years interviewing people and collecting information from the benefits that they reported to me. And that was about 4,000 people over about 15 or 20,000 hours of interviews over the first five years of the project. And so as far as I know, I'm the only person that's actually tried to document the benefits of organic sulfur. People often ask, can I take too much sulfur? And the answer is no. In the first few years of the project, myself personally, I took a third of a pound a day, which is about four times the recommended amount, and there were no harmful consequences at all. When people call and we recommend how much they should take, there's always a process of acclimatization. And what that means is you start out at a small amount and you gradually increase. That's so that your body can adjust itself to the impact, the healthy impact of the sulfur. What happens is as soon as you start to take sulfur, you start to detox and it starts to change the way that your body cells divide and you need to let your body sneak up on the impact of that. So we call it acclimatization, and every person that buys sulfur gets their own personal guide. So after you become acclimatized to it, people often ask me about the taste of sulfur, and for the first few weeks it tastes bitter. That's because of the components within the sulfur, but after several weeks of taking it, most people report that they don't even notice the taste. Myself, I've been taking it now for 16 years and it doesn't have any taste, it's just sulfur. And it's just a matter of putting it in your mouth and then taking a sip of water, waiting a couple of moments and then swallowing it. Some people like to dissolve it in warm water and then drink it and follow that with a large glass of water, but it's just a matter of putting it in your mouth, drinking some water and swallowing it. The importance of water is often a question because I recommend that you drink a lot of water. Without drinking water, the sulfur can't circulate throughout your body and do the work it's intended to do. So if you decide to take sulfur, it's important to keep your water intake up 
and it's important to drink water without chlorine. I thank you for listening to this first brief video. I'm just trying to give you a general overview of organic sulfur. On our next video, I'll talk a little bit about how sulfur is made.